Back on a spring creek in New Zealand with clear skies and equally clean and clear water, Daryl lines up on a fish feeding yep. to the left of the large tussock midstream. And as if to demonstrate how spoiled the locals are here, three fish rise simultaneously in the near perfect conditions. With fish feeding so actively and covering such a big area, the real challenge can be landing the fly in front of them, which can take many casts, each requiring delicate presentation to avoid spooking the fish. So always the rod's very high, just to, I mean, it's not ideal, but you just got to try and keep the heads up out of the weed and uh, keep him up on the surface. Good. Oh, come here. Beautiful red spots along the side of it. Yeah. Well done, mate. Nice fish. Another good fish. Yeah. He's a good uh, three or four pound. You never get sick of catching those. You'd put up with that all day. A lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yep. And that's why you come to New Zealand. Well, I live in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. See what I mean about the weed? Yep. You get a lot more than that, and the starts can uh, can pop a small fly like that pretty easily. Yep. That's good. With the fish to hand, the guys swapped roles, and with Daryl behind the camera, it was time for Gavin to level the scoreboard. But after numerous casts, refusals, and fly changes, it became apparent that this fish wasn't going to be the one. And with good friendship fueling the ever-present trans-Tasman rivalry, the sledging begins. He's not gonna eat that. Don't think he is. Do you want me to have a grow to? <laughs> you want me to catch it for you and uh, I'll pass you the rod. <laughs> Place, yeah, that's the main thing with these. You've really got to get the fly right in front of them, so it helps to to see them. Unlike rainbows, browns are deep down fighters, and this one makes its way downstream fast for deep water. That was actually quite a difficult cast there, Daryl. Bit of weed. I said you. Did, did you see that? Yet? Gifted. <laughs> yeah. You concentrate on your fish.
Hold on. Sometimes they're the uh, the best fish, the ones that need a, perhaps a difficult cast or something slightly different. We come up and took that. Perfect. They're fat fish, aren't they? Yeah. This is a hen fish too. Yep. Good to see. Just hold him up just before you uh, take that. Good. Show everybody at home. Beautiful fat hen fish. Yeah. They're just in good nick. There's obviously a lot of lot of food and, and that in this uh, system that they mostly mayfly. Yep. Nice fish. Yeah. Always the same in this particular spring creek, you've just gotta put the fly right in front of his nose and I think that's the secret to a lot of dry fly fishing is being able to ability to put the little fly in front of his nose cause the trout to have an instinctive reaction you know and um, more often than not it works I think work today anyway <laughs> yep right beside the wee bed this left hand side of the wee bed just in front of it now Good luck. <laughs> Seems to be your story today. Ah, well, it can happen. We've just uh, been casting a few. We've got that one to take. But it just didn't set. But again, we've got him to take. Can I see that's your... what you always say when you don't catch him. You, you, know, you say that's what it's about. So. Can I have a look at your hands, Gav? Look at my hands. Are they sh oh, they're shaking. That's yeah. the reason why. Look I'm sorry. <laughs> 